So when we talk about assigning variables, all we're doing is talking about the left and the right hand side of that equal sign. Um, when we think about the variable, remember we need a good variable name, and my usual generic name is my variable, right? It's a terrible variable name, by the way. I don't ever want to see that in anybody's program. Uh, but because we don't know what this program's about yet, I'm just using a generic name. This program was about, um, you know, airspeed. Then I might want to say, you know, air speed or something similar, right? So make sure that your names make sense. I use this because it's nice and generic. All right, so my variable. My assignment is this equal sign. Remember, in programming, rarely does the equal sign mean equal. In fact, in Python, it's the double equal sign, and that's true in a lot of languages. Uh, that means equal to. A single equal sign almost always means assignment, all right? Is assigned to. So remember we talked about this is a bag, right? A variable is a space that holds stuff in memory. So I like to think of it like, like a shopping bag. An empty shopping bag is just that. It's an empty bag. But if I fill it with apples, I'm okay calling it an apple bag, right? Or all of my apples. So let's call it that. Let's say this is my apple bag, right? And what does my apple bag hold? Well, obviously it holds apples. So a string, apple. Or maybe it holds a kind of apple, right? Maybe it has green apples. Right? So the way we read this is that the value, the string, the string constant, all those mean the same thing. The variable green apples is assigned to the variable called apple bag, right? And if I print that variable, look inside the bag, then what I'm gonna see here is green apples, okay? That's assignment in a nutshell. Anything on the right-hand side gets assigned to the left-hand side. And remember, these things can change. So here's, here's an interesting way to look at this. So if I were to say apple bag has red apples, and apple bag has green apples. What's gonna happen when I print apple bag? Well, I'm still gonna have green apples. Why? Well, because in this case, red apples is assigned to apple bag. But then green apples is assigned to apple bag. Well, what happened to the red apples? They got thrown out. Right? Now that's an oversimplification. They got placed in memory and get overwritten later and you know a whole lot of stuff that you don't need to worry about too much here. Uh, but in a nutshell, when I assign this variable a new value, it takes the new value. That's why we call them variable, right? Because they can vary, they can change. So remember that we're just assigning things. The value goes here and we can do anything over here. If we were to have, let's say we had number one equals 50, Number two equals 100. Now my apple bag, instead of holding apples, may hold number one plus number two. What's it gonna get? Well, it's gonna add those two numbers together and assign them here. How would we read this? And uh, we would read this as the value of number one and the value of number two we find the sum of those two values, place that sum into the variable apple bag. So let's rename this. We're going to call this our answer, because that's a better name for it, right? And the other way I could say this is number one, number two. Find the sum of number one and number two. Assign that sum to the answer. So 50 plus 100 is 150. That gets assigned to answer. Answer now holds the value 150. That's assigning variables.